ladies and gentlemen, your host The Raven here, bringing you some 7 Days to Die action. This is week 4 in my current uh, solo survival gameplay. I've been using, I've been working on my pit design. Um, it's zombie night, it's the 28th of zombie town calendar or whatever, so it's a blood moon. I got a couple of hours before the thing hits. What I'm working on is just uh, got the place hooked up with every kind of station that I need finally. Still don't have the ability to make forge steel though. I don't have a crucible. Can't find it. Have well not can't. Haven't found one yet. Um, don't have you know that type of stuff. I'm really happy about my rooftop garden. This food is so difficult in this game. I feel that the food is a bigger enemy than the zombies are. So anyway, it's zombie night. Let's get prepared. I've been working on my drawbridge. As you can see, um, the drawbridge lets me get there without ground harassment. So I'm working on my on-ramp or whatever. Uh, yeah, it needs a lot of work. But it's zombie night, so I don't have time to keep making repairs on it. Anyway, this is an improvement I've made over the last time. I noticed last time that, or the other times I've used the pit technique, that the zombies, they tend to like hang around the edges, hang on the sides. I realize anywhere they can stand that doesn't um, push them off into the edge, they will. So I made it now to where in order to get near me, which um, that's what the zombies attempt to do, is to try to get to you to kill you, they have to pick they can't stand on the sides. They have to pick an edge. Um, I put iron bars on the top. That hopefully that will cut down on bird attacks. They might still fly in though. Um, so I'm expecting some birdage, but I'm hoping that the concrete walls will force the zombies to you know to line up to get near. So it's either they're standing on you know in these doorways, which you know they push each other and stuff or they fall into the pit which is where we want them to go so anyway I fi finally got the all the natural stone carved out of the walls of the pit and I've refined I've got the base down uh, to um, it's all concrete like it's supposed to be um, let's take the safety block out I've doubled the bars that I stand on that way I noticed that the police officers zombies they can spit the acid so in order to cut down on the problem of oh my gosh they shattered the bars out from underneath me and I didn't realize it was happening I mean cuz it I mean you're supposed to be throwing bombs you know what I mean but still stuff can happen you don't want this thing to suddenly collapse and drop you into your own pit which um that happens so which is why we have a safety door cuz if you dig a pit you'll fall in a pit so um, but anyway, the second bar is just for really projectile protection. It takes the shots, it eats the damage from any cop zombies that manage to get off any spit. We protect the actual platform we're standing on. Both allow shots to be shot through so you can shoot arrows or guns. Although I'm sticking to shotguns and bombs because, I mean, why build the pit if I was going to use rifles and stuff, you know what I mean? I mean, you could shoot fish in a barrel with a rifle, there's nothing wrong with that. So anyway, this is behind the scenes. Uh, the ready room here. We got an emergency chest. Uh, was I going to put... A repair kit would be good to keep in here. I just want some emergency stuff. Food, medicine, uh, some emergency supplies of weaponry. Uh, you know, that type of stuff. Because if you get into some, some doo-doo, you know, you want to have some backup. So anyway, let's close this. Let's go downstairs. See what the pit looks like. Then down here is the bottom of the pit. This is three blocks high that prevents the zombies from jumping up and attacking it. Um, they can still hit this door, um, which I need to upgrade that. I should have forged more doors while I had time, but I don't want to leave the safety of the pit now that I'm down here. Because, I mean, if you, if you mess around too much, what's the point of building this all this fancy stuff if you're caught outdoors during zombie night you know what I mean so um, let's see what else got going on 
uh, got food, got drink. I mean, I've being solo is a very different experience than co-op. Um, at it, it feels good in a way, but there's a lot of stuff missing. One is that uh, I have a wonderful friend that a lot of times uh, they handle like cooking and you know just stuff that like it it you it needs to be done it's so important and you think oh well this ain't as important as mining ore or chopping down trees or or this ain't as or as important as killing zombies but actually making concrete mix making forged iron forged steel making building materials um for uh, producing arm, uh, weapons, producing ammo, making armor, crafting things, like that's that it takes time, energy, and work. It's it's whole it's a whole nother ball game. So one thing I've learned the hard way since I don't when I am solo um, is not to just keep guzzling the red teas. I used to just get red tea, red tea, red tea all the time because it was you know it, it was it's available. But now I realize that okay. If you drink, it's hard to get those chrysanthemums because you either got to grow them or you got to harvest them. So sooner or later, you're going to run out of red tea. And plus, you need bottles of water, all types of things. Um, and and it just, it, 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 it's a lot of work. So I realized you just need to drink one or two red teas to get the bonus because of hunger. Red tea helps you keep your food longer. So... Drink a red tea real quick, then eat your meals. That way, whatever little meager boiled egg or charred meat, whatever so happened, you know, can of spam, whatever or sham, whatever you, you so happen to get your hands on, it'll last you. Um, but you can't just keep drinking them because they'll run out. So a little bit of red tea, a little bit of water. Uh, let's see what we got medical wise. I've been f uh, found some medical kits. So we got first aid, which is super good. This is second best. This is for sewing up wounds and uh, brazen stitches. And we got splints for uh, broken bones. A little bit of meat. Some shotgun shells. I didn't bring much shotgun shells because I. It's really just for clearing zombies that come that manage to land on the grate. And and if I have to do some cleanup downstairs later. So not much of that. Um. Let's see here. We got 80 pipe bombs, which should be more than enough, hopefully. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm still waiting on the presence of certain zombies that I haven't fought yet. Um, the I'm waiting on the, the juggernaut zombies, the ones that, the military zombies, the ones that blow up, they have the vest, and the, um, they take forever to kill those guys. I haven't fought those guys yet, so that's what I'm waiting on. See how I fare against those. But um, the pit also, it's not its not about that the pit never gets damaged or anything. The reason the the zombies go into the pit is so if when they do blow up, when the police officer zombies explode, when the... Um, when the police officer zombies explode, when the... When the uh, juggernaut zombies explode, you you don't want to have to constantly, you know, use resources and materials. Concrete's expensive; it takes time to make, and time it takes is is resource heavy to get the stuff to make it. And then when you do have the stuff to make it, it takes time to to, to honestly get it pumped out, you know. Um, and it's and you don't want to have to constantly rebuild every single time you know after a zombie after a blood moon or a zombie attack so the pit is like if they go if they blow stuff up down there okay it's just a pit all i have to do is go down there replace a handful of blocks and then you know that's it you know no harm no foul so that's what the pit's about so oof, i'm so nervous But anyway, yeah, shouts out to my friend. Um, yeah, it takes work to get that stuff done, man. Get stuff ready, man.
Come on, you buttholes. I'm just hoping they just have no choice but to just fall in there. Ugh. It's frightening to think of that, though. I'm trapped in a pit. And, you know, underneath the cage, there goes one. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, see? They can't they can't play around the sides. They see that you get in. Yep, you get to get in where you fit in. All right, so we got some candidates downstairs. Let's party time. Let's juice them up. Oh, we got some landers. Another one. Those things are so creepy. Man. I should have brought more shotgun shells. That's what it's looking like. Something hit me. Oh, they, oh, okay, they can punch on the way down. That's another thing uh, I gotta work on. Hopefully, I just steal some of them down there rocking, man. I like the way that some zombies are more durable than others. Like, you expect some just to be annihilated, but then it's like after the bomb goes off, they're still ticking after taking the licking and you're just like wow okay Let's get I thought I heard those birds I see them up high I don't think they've been able to make their way in yet yeah okay so now um, I'll explain the purpose of why I'm so deep in the pit like you're thinking you just all you had to do was dig a pit for the zombies to get in, fall into and then throw bombs. Oh crap, I didn't like that one. That's a party time bomb. Don't want to get double explosions. There we go. Ooh. So anyway, the purpose the reason to be so deep is because of this. Most of the time the fall damage breaks like the zombies' legs. So even when they land on the roof. They break their legs for a moment. They, you know, ragdoll off, go inside the hole. But if you're high up, um, if your pit's not deep enough, they won't ragdoll. They'll just land there and be trying to break into the uh, roof above. You. And see, even you don't, even if you don't kill them, if you can stun, if you can make them stumble and fall off, um, that's enough to get it going and they're down there beating the crap out of that door <laughs> oh okay I think I see a bird I don't need to sit up top. Oh, he fell off anyway. And that's another thing, they can be knocked off. Let me add some bombs down there. There's a lot of them down there alive. 
I mean, concrete ain't invincible. You know, you don't want them down there having just free reign destroying stuff. So let's take a quick moment. We can step inside. When you need to do something and you want don't want to feel like you're in mortal danger of losing your life, you can step inside the room. <laughs> Because it's it's nervous out there on that platform, man. Let me tell you, it ain't no joke. I bought these to um, store inside the emergency chest, but it looks like I'm going to have to use them tonight to cl keep that roof clear. But anyway, I just want to make sure I had a fresh supply of bombs. Let me check my food and water real quick. And also for my nerves. Um, food's okay, water's okay, all right. Let's see what's going on. Let's start it off by lighting them up. I got an idea for those vultures. I knew, so they went, they eventually do find their way in. Or maybe they broke, I don't think they broke one of the iron bar ceilings. I think they just flew around. Because I didn't make it so they couldn't get in. I just wanted to, uh, well, I mean, if it worked, it worked. Like, if they weren't able to get in, fine, you know. But since they are able to, I do have a plan for that. See, that guy's still, he's still ticking. T-shirt man. like a turkey fried chicken up there tonight. Looks like they managed to get some. Finally, those vulture bodies disappear. Oh, we got some greenies. Oh, a first greenie. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh, he's still alive. I think I got him. Oh, he took a lot of bombs. All right, let's ready room real quick. Combine these broken stacks. Man, I was talking, well, I'm going to need that many bombs. It looks like I will.
Oh, that's another thing. Always try, if you can, to bring materials that can be used to um, repair the stuff that you stand on or work with. Because if you don't, and they break that top, I mean, that kind of almost defeats the purpose of the base. I mean, you can still stay inside the door, but that's risky, you know? many blocks they've destroyed down there. I can't wait to be able to upgrade the steel. I knew that could happen too. <laughs> That's another thing that can happen, folks, so... Always be prepared. That's one reason uh, I would like to bring up this time. I would like to bring up this time, like, you can specialize in an armor. Um, I think I blew a candle off the wall there. That's why it's so dark. I'm like, why is it so dark? It's dark because I blew the candle off the wall. But anyway, um, you can specialize in either light armor or heavy armor in this game. Most of the time, I would pick light because of the stamina. You get pretty much you get pretty much the same protection in a lot of ways. Um, I think you get better temperature protection, and you get the stamina thing, and you take damage almost the same. It's not so so super difference between heavy and light when it comes to taking damage um but i think heavy armor comes with uh blast blast resist so that's really useful if you're going to be throwing pipe bombs because like so you saw what just happened there if you don't get get it off in time or you miss a throw I mean, you want to, you know, be able to withstand your own, you know, you want to be able to dish it and take it, you know. And speaking of taking it, those two big ladies down there did not die. Oh, she missed the blast. And it's not, it's not catching all of them um, in a radius there. Yeah, I think they did eat the bars of that uh, roof. And we got a greenie downstairs. This bird's got the yin yang now. Oh, I'm out of shots and shells. That's annoying. It looks like I'm gonna have to use the emergency shells for emergency. <laughs> See, wow, yeah. Oh wait, in fact, we need to ready room real quick. We need to do a lot of stuff. Let's. I didn't get infected or abrased, but I'm hung. I want to eat a little bit. So always drink the red water first if you got it. Then eat your food. And then, yeah, because our health is get 
getting some damage there. No, I still see bars, so they're getting, they're just flying in the conventional way, that's all. All right. Uh-oh, I better throw some bombs down there, man. Huh, didn't even know there was a guy down there. Okay. I think I still hear beating and stuff. Let's see if we can tempt any more guys to fall through. Alright, seems okay. stuck in some kind of weird world apparently all right well I may have passed zombie night but it appears I need to restart my game for some reason because I got glitched in a no man's land anyway thank y'all for watching tune in for some more zombie action as I continue to improve my base have a great day